Okay, so once again, yes, maybe you can factor this, but let's not think about it. I don't want to sit down and think about factoring. That's the beauty of completing the squares. There's no thinking involved. You follow the formula and it works. That's gone. We get x squared plus 2x with a little break in it equals 24. Okay. So, uh, b over 2 squared is the formula. Right? That's the formula. b in that problem was 2, so it's 2 divided by 2 squared, which is 1 squared. And what is 1 squared? 1. So I add a 1 to both sides. So I end up getting x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 25. And whatever's in parentheses is my um, factor. So this is like saying x plus 1 squared equals 25 because it's completing the squares. So I square root both sides. Right? Square root both sides. I get x plus 1 equals plus or minus because I square rooted it 5. And to get x by itself I subtract 1. So we get x equals negative 1 plus or minus 5. So negative 1 plus 5, the answer is 4. Negative 1 minus 5, the answer is negative 6. So there are your two answers. Okay, finally an example that we can't factor. So to do this, I would add 2 to both sides. So in doing that, I end up getting x squared minus 4x with a little space equals 2. So, according to the formula, it's b over 2 squared, so negative 4 divided by 2 squared. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 squared, and negative 2 squared is positive 4. So I add 4 to both sides. So I end up getting x squared minus 4 x plus 4 equals 6. And whatever's in the parentheses is your factor. So this is x minus 2 squared equals 6. I would square root both sides to get x minus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 6. And I would add 2 to both sides. So we get 2 plus or minus root 6. I can't simplify the root 6 anymore, so there is your answer. Okay, so taking a look at this one, um, before you can complete the squares, um, you need to factor out whatever you can, because you can't have a, a number in front of the x squared. So I'm going to pull out that 7. So we get an x squared plus 4x uh, plus 3 equals 0. And look at it like this. If I wanted to 7 times all that junk so I could divide both sides by 7, which actually means I get x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Well, when I go to do this problem, I get x squared plus 4 x plus 3 equals 0. To complete the squares to solve it, I would minus 3 on both sides. So I get x squared plus 4x, little gap, equals negative 3. And the formula is b over 2 squared, which is like saying 2 squared, which is 4. So what does that mean? That means I add 4 to both sides. So I end up getting x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 1. And whatever's inside the parentheses, which is a 2, that is my factor. So this is x plus 2 squared equals 1. I square root both sides. So I get x plus 2 equals plus or minus 1. I would minus 2 on both sides, so I get x equals negative 2 plus or minus 1. So negative 2 
plus 1 is negative 1 and negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 and there are your two answers. So uh, you can also use this to rewrite problems in uh, quadratic uh, into a vertex form. Um, so in order to do that um, it's the same exact way as uh, completing the squares. So you need to get all the x's onto one side. So minus um, 193 onto both sides. Let's get the numbers onto the other side. So I get y minus 193 equals um, 8x squared minus 80x. Okay. Well, with this, you can't do completing the squares of the number out in front. So you need to take that 8 out. So I get x squared minus 10x with parentheses. Okay, um, and I left a gap in there because I'm going to be completing the squares. So according to completing the squares, um, it's b over 2 squared, which is negative 5 squared. Um, which is the same as me saying 25. So what that means is that's a 25 that goes in here, a positive 25. So if I put 25 on this side, right, um, on the other side, I actually have to put, excuse me, um, on the other side, So, yeah, I put a 25 on this side, but just because I put a 25, it's not actually what I put. I put an 8 times 25, which is actually 200. So if I put 200 on this side, I need to put 200 on this side. So, really, what I have is 200 and negative 193. I actually have y uh, plus 7 on that side. And over here x squared minus 10x plus 25 this whatever's inside is your uh, grouping so it's a minus 5 squared now I don't want that on that side so I would have to subtract a 7 so your official final answer is y equals 8 x minus 5 squared minus 7 there's your final answer And when we come back here, I will uh, try to finish that up for you.